to blow into the scoreboard. Well, I've seen a lot of sixes hit at this ground, but I don't think I've seen one as neatly tucked away into the scoreboard. What balance. And what a result. Just coming right onto the middle of the bat. And look at this. Smashes in to the Perry sign on the scoreboard. Right. That was the in-swinging seamer. What's he going to follow it up with? Slow ball. Through the onside. This will be four more. Just leg side. That was the, the the ball was nicely delivered from a length point of view, but it was leg stump and Sawag's too good when given the opportunity. He just rolls the wrists. He's got going now. Danger here for the Black Caps. Here's Sawag straight through cover point for four. Oh, nothing wrong with the delivery at all. This is just genius at work. He keeps his head down. His hips are nicely open and is allowing that blade to swing through. <laughs> Dream about those shots, Riggett. So has got him. So has got him. One, two, two bounces over extra cover. What a shame. It was just too short, too wide. It was almost that uh, last ball kind of situation for Thompson and he couldn't quite pull it off. 45 for none off to six. See the angle. It was pretty easy pickings in the end for Sawag. It just uh, sat up and said spank me. And it got spanked. And Verinda Sawag's push shot for four. Familiar sights, especially for Ian O'Brien, who's been short throughout the series. Yes, it brings up the half century for the Indians. 50 run partnership coming in quick time, just the start they wanted. You can see Sevak is a man at short mid wicket. He is deliberately ensuring that he clears that man. Picks the length up so quickly, that's why he can hit it in front of square. Dangerous customer and looking good at the moment. 35 from just 24 balls. Wow, four more. So Rimmer Wicket, he's been strong, but down the ground he shows when O'Brien over pitches, he's just as dangerous, small margin of error. There's no half measures with him whatsoever. Wonderful shooting from Sawag. It's pitched up. Use of the wrist. To bring up 50 for Verinda Sawag. Consistent and powerful. We've got India off to a great start, chasing New Zealand's 281. Fantastic 50 of just 31 balls. Yes, and this large crowd here today, a very noisy crowd, have been uh, treated to terrific entertainment. Well, uh, playing his natural game, plenty of big shots. One of the great entertainers in world cricket at the moment. Short from O'Brien. And to the boundary, finer than Sewe wanted. Didn't come out of the middle of the bat. He had enough on it to get it over the keeper and down for four. What it will do is it'll again uh, make sure there's a shift in momentum because the Indians will have to go for it. They've asked for the batting power play and they'll take the attack to the bowlers. And he starts off with the top edge. Brian's first two overs went for 24. It's a tough ass to come back bowling the power play. Especially if you're bowling there and bowling to this man. That's gone a long way. 
Great move from India again with the power play. Yes, and a move on straight away. You can't ask for something better. Boundary first, and this one, he smacked it over midwicket. Gets into such good positions. He's uh, got an eye of a dead fish and a tremendous bat speed, as always. This is a big six. It's landed on the banks way back. This crowd there uh, have to keep their eyes on the ball. That's not a great start. Might have been a variation in pace. May have been the seamer, may have been a cutter. But it's the line and length where he's paid the price. Yes, he was looking to hit it a lot straight against the inside half of the bat. On that occasion, he'll still get a boundary for it with fine leg up. But Thompson has no time here to settle down. What's important is that he should not panic because uh, there's no doubt Sevag is lining himself up to literally whack every delivery in this over. This time over the cover, over the offside. Not the timing that we've come to see from Verinder Sewag. Not the pitch shot to stop Stanley Vittori to field. Not a great proposition. I think your first match for New Zealand, you've been given the role of bowling the power plays. You rely on subtle changes of pace. With the other end, it's just pure power. Yes, he had to reach out for that one. Was again the slower delivery. He's done him a little bit in pace, but the same result. I think the slow balls worked. Sayway is in such good form and those wrists are so strong, he was able to work the ball wider and still get it to the fence for four. Yes, it's middle, middle and leg. has gone wider. Sayweg's adjusted with a casual flick of the bat and just elevates it and eases it over point for four more. Well, this is his favourite shot. Sometimes you feel he can put uh, such deliveries away even in his sleep, especially with the field up all in the ring. There is no third man. Just opening the face of the blade, reaching out at the ball. Down the ground this time. That'll be four more for Verinda Sayweg. Six off the over from Vittori, 132 without loss. Oh, there's no respect. There's an answer to your question, Smithy. Absolutely no respect at all. No, it's unanimous. Every bowler has got the same peppering. No one's hiding tonight. No one at all is hiding tonight. Kyle Mills is probably feeling quite good at five overs, none for 29. It's no respect there at all. It's in the slot, admittedly, but look. Oh. Big side, but it's just pad, I believe. Is it? Is it pad? Rudy Kurtzen's going to say yes. He's going to spoil the party momentarily. But it is four more to India. Sayweg looks back and says, you sure? He's trying, isn't he? <laughs> He's trying, Verinda Sayweg. Straight off the pad. Here we go, 97 Savag. Listen for the raw Hamilton. Down the wicket. Hit! 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 Will he be out? No, he's got it good enough. It's gone. It's over the top. And there it is. 100 for Savag. Stand and applaud Hamilton. There is your man, Verinda Savag. I'm going to stand. The hell with it. This is fantastic. The fastest ODI 100 for India behind fantastic. Muhammad Azaruddin, Smithy. Martin Crowe's on his feet. Stephen Fleming's on his feet. Mark Richardson's asleep. It's just fantastic. Just fantastic. What a display of hitting. Now, uh, Francis Payne is uh, working away. That's four more. I don't think I'll cut that off. They would have to be 93 at this stage to win on the Duckworth Lewis system. 93 for none. So they're just, just in front. Yeah. So at the end of this, uh, she's a game anyway. So unless there's a downpour in the next five balls, and New Zealand can hop off uh, uh, so far behind the eight ball, it doesn't matter. 
It's gone very high and over the top once more for six. Well, that's almost the back of the bat. If that's what he's got to, we're in for a treat. It's a great way to finish off the over. 188 for the loss. Didn't time it perfectly. But he doesn't need to. twisted in his hand but there's still enough time in there and it's the shortest part of the ground so it makes its way easily over Gervex just made there's been no shake it's gone on for a long time the bottom has always been in with a shout oh, he's just thumped that there might be men out there protecting the boundary he doesn't care well it's Simon here Cuddles in the middle for 200 partnership, and why not? Glove tap, cuddle, and great entertainment. It's a productive area for him. Go 6 101, I think it is, and bring up 200 partnership with your good mate down the other end.